Wow. Yeah. Listen, I've been a, I've been a late night talk show host for about 14 minutes, and that's yeah. what we call a hot crowd. Ah. Now, you and I, we, we share a connection. Yes. And I'm not talking about uh, the bathroom at Applebee's. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm the voice of, of Lego Batman. You are? Yeah. Fantastic, Lego and Batman. You, thank you. And you play Jim Gordon on Gotham. Yes. Yeah. And I love the movie. The movie was fantastic. Thank you very I much. I actually went to the theaters to see it with my three-and-a-half-year-old stepson, and you, it was... Fantastic. Thank you very much. Hilarious. Thanks. We had a lot of fun. Um, one note. <laughs> okay. Where where the hell was Gordon? <laughs> oh, Commissioner Gordon? Yeah, that day, yeah. Well, he, we we had him retire in the second scene. <laughs> just just because we, we so, needed to keep it tight. Yeah. You know? We had a lot it, of stuff that mm -hmm. we had to. We had to get rid of the... It, 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 it got a little odd. The reason I bring it up is, so, so the three-and-a-half-year-old. Yeah. I need to be cool in his eyes. So I've been, I've been hyping the, the Gordon. You know, Gordon, right. arguably Batman's best friend. Right. You could say, right? Yeah. <laughs> one of, one of. No, or, or the only. The, the, okay. the only best. Oh, he's watching right. now. Yes. Yeah, he's watching right now. Right, yeah. I'm glad I'm best friend. Uh, best friend. Yes. Uh, uh, you could argue uh, in Gotham, of course, uh, which he will not see for another 10 years because it's far too violent for him. Yeah. Uh, Gordon trains Batman. Sure. You know, creates... Don't stop doing well, that. Well, I don't know creates. I mean, look. Could you... Jim, could give you... me a break. <laughs> Sorry. How about this? I'll, I'll make a pledge to you. Yeah. When, if, if we decide to do another one... I'll, I'll lobby to have Jim unretire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's important for the kids. I get it. It's very important. I get it. What was your first acting job? That's my good segue. I uh, know. I just it, I like it occurred that. to me because you're, uh, you're doing the Jim Gordon stuff, and I remember you. Yes. I remember you on the on the OC before that, and you yes. had another. Sh and you played a cop on another show as well. Yes, Southland. Yes, yeah, Southland. Yes. I've been uh, uh, I'm not stalking you. Yeah, no, no, it's not at all. It's not weird. Have these people Google me yeah. and they just give all the same version. Um, uh, it was actually a voiceover. Uh, my really? first gig was a voiceover. I, got, I had one line in a Diet Dr Pepper ad. Uh, what, uh, which, what was the line? Which the line was, "You demand Uter." <laughs> Which doesn't make a lot of sense without context, so let me give it to you. Yeah. Um, uh, Holland Globetrotters instead of Harlem Globetrotters. You get the joke. Uh, oh, I see. And, uh, and so there's a, there's a guy dressed in... Uh, uh, he, has, he has wooden shoes because uh -huh. he's a Holland Globetrotter. That's sure. hilarious. Yeah. And uh, he's walking down a tunnel. Why am I bagging on my first job? I don't like, know. I should stop. I'm, they're never going to hire me again. Somewhere there's a dude with a bag yeah, of chips. And I know. Steven, like, man, that guy's a real jerk. I wrote shirt. that. I wrote that copy. <laughs> I wrote that. Uh, so, and I've been destitute ever yeah, since. I so I so I booked this thing. I yeah. booked it like my first thing ever. I, I knew the casting director randomly, and I I I, I got the gig, and then I I was sent out for probably ten thousand voiceovers, yeah. and I never got any. Never another one. No, for ten years until, I did the voice of Batman in Batman Year One. You did the voice of Batman in Batman Year One. Yeah, right? which right, everyone right. knows. Yes. Because it was the direct to DVD it was animated a, movie, which yeah. you know, some of us do theatrically released, three thousand screen big blockbuster no, movies. No, I mean who's counting? I'm counting, but yeah. who's <laughs> No, it's not a big uh, no, it's not a competition. It's not a big uh, not a big deal. But now you're in Gotham, which is but now a huge hit. Yes. Right, and you're very excited about that. Very excited about that. Yeah, and uh, and I directed the last the last episode. Did actually. you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, good for I you, did. man. I did. How was that? Uh, it was good. It was good. My uh, fiance uh, is in the episode. Yeah. How was it? Was that hard? Was that she? Was, did she know, take it easy on you? Or she was great with me. Thank you. Very gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my my advice on on directing your fiance is the same as my advice on marriage, which is uh, say as little as possible. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's wise. That's sage advice. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your fans are really ardent, too, right? They're crazy. They are. You must have experienced this. A little right? bit. Well, like, well, you've been to Comic-Con, right? Yes, yeah. yes. And is it... I mean, it's, it's, a weird, it's a weird thing, right? It's a... Yeah. Yeah. There's a little... Uh, you, you brought some pictures along. Of, yeah, I just uh, figured uh, I'd bring you. some pictures along. For yeah. You. This is you, this is you at Comic-Con, right? That's me at Comic-Con. Look at that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now, that's... 
That's not you. Right? That's, not that's, me. Not, that's not me. That's not me. That's a little like. And then we got here. Here's you with another. There we yep. go, right there. Look at that. Yep. There, there we, we go. go. Look at that guy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. That's great. Is it weird to uh, say nice cape to a grown man? <laughs> little, little. Did you have any experiences over there? Or you? Uh... I had some weird experiences for sure. I, I, I had uh, one day. I, the first day I got there, I was at Comic Con last year, and we. I looked over this balcony on, and I saw these two dudes dressed in medieval garb. And they were sword fighting. Right. Um, and they were each north of 40 years old. Sure. And then there was an even older dude who was who is the uh, umpire, the referee. Yes. And he was even more into it and scoring them. I don't know what the score system was. But there wasn't even a crowd. They were just doing it for right. sure. themselves. Sure, sure. That, that, that to me is, is the crazy thing. Um, <laughs> well, you know, because of this this uh, Batman connection that you and I have, yes. I thought that maybe we could have a uh, we could have a bat voice off. What do you think about that? I love that. Yeah. I love that idea. We're each gonna uh, we're each gonna read a uh, fortune cookie real quick. Yep. And we're just gonna see. Uh, we all know how this who how does this it works. Yep. who does it better. Yep. You can go first. All right. We're gonna make it real moody. Wow. Eat it while I. As I'm a mistake, it seems well, like a that's not going to be good for your no, voice. Come here, guys. <laughs> One second. <laughs> this is so hard. Why did I do that? <laughs> it's a fortune cookie. It's just delicious. I don't know. All right. Your mentality is alert, practical, and analytical. <laughs> Very good. Mine is... Your work interest can capture the highest status of prestige. All right. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Gotham airs Monday nights at 8 p.m. on Fox. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.